And welcome back to part seven and the final part of what if Goku did not get married, never got married. Last time on the Dragon Ball Z What If, uh, we just got done with the Universe 6 tournament. That goes down, not the same, though Broly is involved, therefore they do have a better edge against uh, Universe 6. Hit still poses a very unique problem to them. And ultimately ends the way it ends. Now, um, by the way, obviously, you'll notice that I did not do a Ron's Gone Wrong review, for anyone who cares about that. Just wasn't feeling it. Uh, I got a, I got a doctor's appointment coming up in the following week, and I gotta get something checked out, so, um, that's kind of playing a factor into it, I just wasn't feeling it. Uh, it's just gonna be one that fell to the wayside, sorry guys. Anyway, back to the more important topic at hand. So, we cut into the Goku Black Art. Some time has passed, everyone is... Getting comfortable on Earth, or is comfortable already. <laughs> Vegeta already has, you know, a family, whatnot. He's pretty much where he is mentally, I would imagine. Though he's still got that ego, definitely. Vegeta will always have the ego. And Broly and Paragus have adapted well enough. Paragus has decided to just kind of has event has put aside his grief with the, what you know Vegeta's father did because he does acknowledge. It was his father, not Vegeta, who did that. Uh, so they're all, all well and happy. And then Trunks comes out of nowhere. And he's like, oh, God, no. And all that goes down where he spars with Goku. doesn't even know who Broly and Paragus are. Goku Black shows up. Goku has that initial fight with Goku uh, Black and beats him. Then him and Vegeta go to the future. That entire thing goes down the same. They come back. Now, the second time around is the big question. Does Broly at any point in time go into the time, uh, go into the future with Goku and Vegeta to try to take them on? Because Broly's power still is, you know, being, you know, um, being nurtured, being, uh, being, uh, you know, cultivated, if you will. But the potential of Broly is still very large. His, his cap right now isn't high because he's actually had training to con kind of control some of his rage and anger. So he's most likely not going to lose his cool unintentionally. Or at least not. It's going to take a lot more for him to actually blow his cap and completely go all out on someone. At the moment, because of that, even though Broly's been training, has actually learned to access Super Saiyan naturally, and maybe even has been training with God Key to some degree, Goku and Vegeta are still the two stronger individuals. Uh, even though, again, we saw that both with Akari and Super Saiyan, he completely, well, actually with Akari, he was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Super Saiyan God Goku and Vegeta, of all people. Uh, and then the Super Saiyan form was enough that he was actually clapping Super Saiyan Blue, <laughs> Vegeta, and Goku. But uh, remember, that was Super Saiyan added onto Akari, so... That Super Saiyan was way beyond normal Super Saiyan. That Super Saiyan was ten times that of a standard Saiyan. In fact, his Super Saiyan form was basically the equivalent of... Now, now I'm thinking about the math real quick. Uh, let's see here. If Super Saiyan 2 is two times that. It is about... And then Super Saiyan 4 is four times that. Actually, yeah, he is roughly... It's The increase is actually akin to a bit more than Super Saiyan 3 transformation when you added the Kari boost on that. But either way, Broly, Broly stays behind, so you get the entire debacle that goes on through the Dragon, uh, the Goku Black arc. Nothing really changes there. Now, if you did want to do a slight alteration, you could bring Broly with them, but I think another reason they wouldn't add Broly to the group is because that time machine gets cramped enough as it is. So I think that's another reason why they... Plus, they'd say they need someone to, you know, keep this timeline safe in case something were to happen. So that leaves us with the Tournament of Power. And the Tournament of Power would play off differently here. Um, because first and foremost, you wouldn't have Gohan and you wouldn't have Boo there. So that first preliminary match, I think you definitely get Broly to come with him. Vegeta probably wouldn't go and... God, I, got, I, keep think, I got a hair in my eye. I just can't get it. Mm. Anyway, uh, Vegeta most likely wouldn't go still because he's expecting the birth of Broly and wants to be there. So I don't know if there's another person you could regularly say would be available to go. Maybe you could make an argument for Krillin, even though he has kind of slacked on training in Super, and that would probably extend 
uh, forth in this world, uh, version as well. Since he's, you know, he got the kid and, you know, got a job and he's not looking to fight as much anymore. But he's still well beyond his canning power level. Uh, and he's got a Kaioken now. So I think I mean, maybe they could talk Krillin into going. Maybe. Krillin would pro still probably get, like, th uh, trounced by um, Lavender. I do think Broly's the one who just beats the crap out of Basil. And then Goku, Topo, and the Bergamo stuff all goes down as normal. And then you get the actual tournament itself. Who's going to be on the team? Well, we have Goku and Vegeta. That's an obvious one. The Twins, 18 and 17. There you go as well. Piccolo's around, so we got Piccolo on that team. Krillin's also going on the team. We all have Broly, so there you go. Uh, then T I'd still imagine Tien and Roshi would go on the team. But that leaves us with still the problem. Um, and that is, who is the ninth member? We didn't, we kind of glossed, well, we didn't gloss over per se. We kind of addressed, I think, Resurrection F. It doesn't really happen in this version that, that much. So do they argue for Frieza at all? Mm. It's tough, but I would most likely say no. And now that I think about it, I had to remember, we actually didn't really address Resurrection F. It doesn't happen, basically. Because <laughs> uh, Frieza didn't die on Earth. They never went to Earth. King Cold came to Earth, but he was quickly taken care of. And I don't think they really care about avenging him at all. But otherwise, who else do they have to deal with? They have Cell. Sure, they could, I guess, bring Cell back if they wanted to. But do they want to? Uh, there is, in theory, Majin Buu, but there's no way they'd be able to control him. So who else could you ask? I mean, there is Yamcha, I suppose, but unlikely. Uh, ultimately, though, we come to an uh, we come to an option where Bulma comes out and says, "Well, I do have an idea. Remember when we ultimately found Jiro's old base?" Uh, we had to look for Cell, uh, uh, when uh, we defeated Cell and then went for, uh, to his, uh, the old base to find this version Cell. Well, I found something uh, there. We found something in a pod back there, and we thought it was a. We thought it might have come in hand someday if we could just rework the program. Well, we finally reworked it. Here he is. And out walks Android 16. We've been holding on this guy for a while, but uh, I think now it might be the time to implement, implement him. Even if, even if he did still have the programming, at this point, there's no way he could probably kill you guys. Uh, we took the bomb out, too. It's like, I am designated Android 16. Hello. It is, it is, a, pleasure to it is a pleasure to meet you. It's like, oh, cool. So you're going to help us fight as affirmative. My my goal, my uh, my uh, primary objective is to protect. And just looking at Goku, like, hmm. Part of me wants to hurt you for some reason, and I don't know why. Well, it's a good thing you don't want to hurt me. Eh? Hmm, correct. <laughs> so, and 16 is the final member on the team. And 16's power and is unique, because 16 does state that his power, if he had a power level, was right around base form cell after he absorbed all the... I got like a hair... There I go, I finally got that hair. Um... After he absorbed all those people, was basically taking on 17 and Piccolo on his own. Uh, and those two were no slouches. But because of the Android, you can continue to modify and upgrade him. It's very possible he could have uh, power equivalent to maybe even Perfect Cell at this point. And he'd still be probably one of the weakest members of the team. <laughs> um, maybe not one of the weakest, but he'd still be at least... Oh, let's see here... Uh, Broly, Goku, and uh, Vegeta already uh, trump him. 17 and 18 most likely have at this point surpassed Perfect Cell on the timeline. We know 17 definitely did. Uh, but 18? That's, that's actually... If, we don't know how strong 18 ultimately was. Uh, we know she wasn't stronger than Cell, but we don't know if she like actually got stronger either. So 17, yeah, definitely. Uh, but everyone else, I guess, you know, kind of on the weaker side. No, though, the question is, does anyone try to make a plan at all? As Golan did. And I could see Shin trying to maybe formulate some sort of strategy, but no one wanting to go with it. That being said, Roshi, Krillin, Tien, I think they would try to stick together as best they could. At least in the beginning. The humans definitely would. So Tournament of Power comes. Everyone's already set and go. And the fight begins. So the Universe 9 getting knocked out uh, at first, that, that's going to happen. That That's a given. <laughs> that's all she wrote. 
Then you, but now you're, the big, the big difference here is that there is no Frieza. Gohan's not around either, sure, but Frieza not being there and uh, having Broly and um, 16 there make it a different dynamic because Frieza went out of his way to be very malicious. So, for instance, he went after, I think, the Bat individual from Universe uh, 9. Someone else, he, he, the Universe 9 might last a little longer, but he's still going to get knocked out. 16, or Broly, Broly might be the one who takes out Universe 10. He may, he's kind of the go-on replacement, I imagine, on this team, whereas 16 is kind of the Frieza equivalent replacement. And he's the one that's going to go against the Universe 10 guy. The only decent, cool guy on Universe 10 was the guy Go Gohan fought and beat. Um, so, uh, they, so they deal with the first few uh, universes pretty quickly. But then there's the Kale, Khalifa, Goku fight. Now, Broly's watching from the sideline, and when Kale starts to go off, he is shocked by this. Like, it feels very similar to his own power, although not as powerful, because we know, I'm sorry, anyone who's going to try to argue it can argue it all they want until their face is blue. Broly would smack the crap out of Kale. <laughs> he would waste her. Power-wise, there's no comparison, in my opinion. Uh, so... Yeah, you know, he's sensing it. He ultimately goes in and just cracks her in his god form, mind you, because he knows he has to at least be in a Super Saiyan or god form. Cracks her and just boom! And she's... Ugh. And they're now going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and, you know, he's keeping her at bay. And, you know, Jiren is like, I'll take care of this, because he can sense both their powers. And he can tell this isn't the full extent to either of their powers. And I might have to do something. I don't think he... I think he saw Kale as a threat, but not a thing too serious. Broly, if he got to, say, Super Saiyan, he would view as a straight-on threat. Like, if if he was strong enough to give Super Saiyan Blue, v uh, Goku, and Vegeta a serious to, uh, hard time to the point where they had to hightail it, um, uh, then Jiren would consider him a threat just because Jiren knew that Goku and Vegeta were threats as well. And he, he, he fires the blast. They both are able to make it out. Uh, Broly, uh, you know able to calm down enough to finally like get his bearings and the fight continues you know you still get the uh, dis uh disqualifications you still get the ring outs of roshi tian krillin not in that specific order mind you and you what's the best way to put it? you still get a lot of the same things here like frieza and gohan did not play who the, the biggest factor in knocking a lot of the universes out he, like, Frieza was the one who took out Kaba, admittedly. Gon was the one who took out Dispo. And, uh, who helped, well, take out, uh, Universe 6? Not 6. Wait. 6 and... He took out 6. Yeah, he was the one who took out the Namekians from Universe 6. I had to remember which one who took out who. Um, but ultimately, they, um, they didn't play the biggest factors in, in the tournament. So, the Jiren Goku fight goes the same. However, it is, it Broly comes and de it does manage to give him some energy. He does fight him and give him some energy. Uh, it would, you'd think it'd be 16, but 16 does, can't really do that. He's an android. But and either way, he could still maybe bring Goku to someone who can give him energy and you know, boost him up a little bit. Then you get into the more nuanced parts of the tournament. For instance, the Kaba thing. Kaba, I think, lasts longer in this tournament because of um, of the lack of Frieza in this. Because Frieza specifically targeted him. But he's not going to make it to the end. He's just, he just doesn't have the power to do that. Uh, and I would say he probably, probably gets knocked out maybe by one of the Universe 4 fires. Either the invisible guy or the small guy. Because he'll most likely be the last one left at that point. So he gets knocked out. That's one different um, omission. Eventually, you get more and more fires knocked out until you get down to uh, uh, Teen Universe 9, no, excuse me, Universe 11 versus Universe 7. Now, by the time we get that, it's Dispo, Jiren, and Topo. We know that. By the time we get to that, though, in terms of where the Dragon Ball universe is, or our universe is, Universe 7, I would imagine it's still Goku and Vegeta. That, that's a clear-cut uh, answer right there. Goku and Vegeta, 17 still around. 18 and 16, though, had to uh, you know, take themselves out to stop Annie Raza. I believe that. 
or Anderaz. Well, eighteen was rebrand. Uh, sixteen, I think, may have like done it, done it to uh, take out Andy Raza. D- but we still have Broly, and so I would say that's your lineup. Now, fortunately, Broly is much stronger than Gohan is at this point. So when Dispo tries to speed blitz him, even though he's getting hit, he just powers up the Super Saiyan, doing everything he can to keep control. And at this point, he's had enough training to keep control of his space Super Saiyan form, and starts to just boom, just clotheslines him and just pops him out. Then he goes to age 17. Now, it's obviously Vegeta and Goku versus Jiren. That's going on the same. Broly and 17 versus Topo. And because I'm not playing dirty, I don't think Topo feels the need to just, you know, forgo his justice or whatever to, you know, use God, destru- God Destruction Key, uh, Hakaishin Key, um, and, you know, completely go ham on them. And because of that, I would say that they are able to finally overpower him and throw him out of the ring. Which leaves now 17, Broly, Goku, and Vegeta take on Jiren. Yeah, you know, Jiren is pushing them back. Hey, they're both, they're all doing the best they can. But, you know, it's not, it's, you know, slow going. Broly's getting more and more angry, and he is starting to finally lose it. It's like, and he finally powered, he does power up to the super, super Saiyan form, Ikari Super Saiyan, if you will. And now he's actually pushing Jiren back a while, for quite a bit. Not enough that he, I think he's outclassed Jiren. Once he goes into that Berserker legendary state, that's when I think he completely outclassed Jiren. Or not completely outclassed, but is stronger than Jiren. Uh, or at least a true, legitimate rival to Jiren, I guess is the better way to put it. But he's, you know, going total. And Jiren actually is now putting effort in. Goku comes in every now and then. Uh, Broly is still able to apparently identify a friend from foe, though, so he's not attacking Vegeta or Goku. Uh, but he is, but Jiren finally is like, okay, I've had enough, I'm flexing my muscles, bro, flexing, bro, and just throwing Broly out of the ring at that point. Like, he just, because bl- Broly's the closest one there, he just blasts Broly point blank, throws him out of the ring. 17 makes up the shields, and he's like, ah, Goku, Vegeta, just want you to know, I've given up on the boat, and he's, boom. Vegeta, obviously, is, um, is knocked out. So then you get the entire Goku fight. He's almost knocked out. But I think 17 is the one who saves him. Seven. Unfortunately, now this is the dark side of this. Without having an extra member on the team, beating Jiren is near impossible. However, we do know that 17 was able to do that kamikaze move to take him down. And I think he does do the kamikaze move to take him down. Just blasts him. He gets thrown back and he gets back up and just Blast. Not he's not wasting any time. Just boom, blast <laughs> Jiren right off there, and Jiren falls through. He's like Jiren, no, and Jiren gets disqualified. And ultimately, I the, the winner would pro, they'll all give I think to Seventeen still, who wishes the other universes back, and all's well that ends well. Now this could have gone very dark if it wasn't for the fact that eighteen we saw Seventeen pull off that Kamikaze enclosed explosion maneuver, which was badass, by the way. I, this would have been a scenario where I think the Jiren would have won and Universe 7 would have gotten wiped. Now the question would have been, would they have wished them back? Would Jiren have had the foresight to wish him would all the universes back? It's unlikely. Maybe, would have, but we get the impression that Jiren wasn't going to do that. So... That ultimately is where it all ends up because now you know the day is saved, and just boop, 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 do and so and then Dragon Ball Z movie Broly happens like wait what I'm here, um, so I again I could go into like the Galactic Patrol Moro stuff but I don't go with the manga until they get animated I'm not going to go into that arc because again oh god if once if and when super eventually does come back with the like moral arc the galactic patrol arc i'm gonna have to do a follow-up on every single b- i'm not going to obviously <laughs> unless someone asks for it I'll, I'll say that if someone asks for a continuation then sure but i'm not gonna go out of my way to make another part for every single dragon ball video i've done just because they do that in the animated form <laughs> Anyway, I digress. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, though. That is the end of this What If. We'll have two new What Ifs starting next week, so keep your eyes out for those. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you folks next time. Hit that bell if you want to be notified.